Bienvenue à voir et bienvenue à Toronto. On débute l'émission de cette semaine dans la Ville Reine en vous emmenant rencontrer un des visages les plus connus de la planète, le jeune acteur britannique Daniel Radcliffe que vous pourrez voir dès vendredi dans le trailer de Woman in Black. C'est surtout son premier film depuis la fin de la série Harry Potter et vous allez voir que le jeune acteur de 22 ans est bien déterminé à être autre chose que celui qui a joué le magicien le plus populaire de tous les temps. Daniel Radcliffe, I read somewhere that since the age of uh, 10 years old, you haven't passed a day without working. Uh, you work every day. No, not quite. I mean, I've had weekends off, yeah. but yes, pretty which, much. Which means that today's interview, these interviews, it's like day-to-day -day job for you. Yeah. Can you I, imagine I yourself not doing this? Um, no movies, no interviews? I really can't. I have no idea what my life would be like if I wasn't in this oh. industry. I, 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 I don't even want to think about it. Mm -hmm. During afternoon tea, There's a shift in the air, a bone trembling chill that tells you she's there. The Woman in Black is your new movie. It's coming out it this is. week. Absolutely, yes. So you play a lawyer who's sent to a remote village yep. to uh, sort out the affairs of a deceased woman. Sounds and... very boring and, yeah. and uneventful. And I get there, and the house is haunted. And haunted not by a particularly friendly ghost, yeah. but by a vengeful, angry, mm -hmm. um, hateful woman who is trying to destroy me. <laughs> There, trying to reach me. Are you a fan of the uh, horror genre? Um, I, I am. I'm not really a fan of, um, you know, I'm a fan of good films. So, you know, I love The Shining, and I love mm -hmm. Straw Dogs, and, you know, obviously the older classic Hammer films, um, like Dracula. More modern things like The Others uh, mm -hmm. was a film that we, you know, looked at before making this film because we thought they, that we admired the tone that they struck. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I am a fan of the genre. I'm not really a fan of the um, more contemporary kind of gory, uh, like gratuitous. No, they just freak me out. They just yeah. upset me. Like there's nothing, like I don't get anything out of watching those films, you know, so um, though they, yeah, other than just uh, being disturbed. Yeah, your movie was produced by Hammer. So it's yes. a production company based in England. Yes. They made some of the best horror movies. They kind of, 50, they 60. almost, they almost started the yeah. genre. I mean, With they really Peter did. Cushing. Peter and... Cushing. See, that's the hero for yeah. me. That's everyone else in my class. When we watched that film, I think we watched that film when we were maybe uh, nine or ten and we were in, um, in school and everybody else in my class wanted to be Christopher Lee and thought he was really cool. And I wanted to be Peter Cushing because um, I thought, because I just loved him. You know, he's always, he's always the still center of, yeah. of those films and, and that's kind of what Arthur is in, in this movie. And Hammer, I'll just try to focus on movies that are intelligent, horror movies that yes. are Yes, I mean, that's, that's what struck me about this film when I read the script was that it was a horror movie, but it wasn't typical of a horror movie. It yeah. was a movie with really strong emotional themes and strong characters and characters that feel real. And, um, and, and yeah, so, and it's also, it's, you know, this is a film about suspense, anticipation. Um, it's more about what you don't see than what you do. Uh, and it's, yeah, it's a, it's a very, very creepy, and there's lots of kind of classic horror mm -hmm. devices in it that we use, but, um, but ultimately it's kind of, it is, it's a, it's a character-driven horror yeah. movie, which is quite a rare thing. They prey on those most in need. Your character is older than you. Yes. He's a father. Mm -hmm. He's a widow. Yes. He was married. So did you purposely choose this character because he was very different from what you you've become? Um. For? I mean, y yes. I suppose you know it was obviously a factor into my thinking. I don't want to do something that's very similar mm -hmm. to Potter immediately afterwards, or or, or ever. Um, the, the first thing that drew me in was the story, but obviously there were challenges within the part that were really, really exciting. Playing slightly older does has helped because I think it'll get people to, you know, it'll start people seeing me in a yeah. different light, and I, I do look very different in this film, so I think that's, you know, that's a good start. You're very proud of the Potter uh, series. Absolutely. Obviously, yeah. but you want to move on. Of course. Do you feel like you have to work harder to be accepted as a serious actor? Oh uh, yes, I think so. I think there's an element yeah. of that. You know, I think it's going to be I think the next couple of years I really have to, you know, do a lot of work and show people what I'm what I'm capable of. Um, I don't think I have yet. Um, well, and we've I, seen you naked on stage. You see me naked? I mean, in fact, on, on, on Equus, Equus was, you know, that was fantastic. That, yeah. was, that was the most, really, the most fulfilled I think I've ever kind of felt as an actor, particularly when we did it on Broadway. Who would you like to work with? Um, 
Yeah, in terms of directors, yeah. uh, the Coen brothers are like mm -hmm. kind of idols to me in terms of what they do. Um, Christopher Nolan is a, an amazing filmmaker, I think. Um, there's... Scorsese, I would, I would see him as Scorsese. Oh, really? Oh, cool. Yeah. Well, I hope, I hope he feels the same way. Yeah. I, 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 I would love to do that. You know, there's, I, I, you know, I want to work at this stage of my career. I want to work with people that are gonna um, challenge me and, and make me take risks and make me get better. You know, that's yeah. that's that's what I'm all about at this stage. I, I want to, you know, I really want to start to show people what I know I can do, and 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 hopefully. Um, you know, I will, and it starts with this film. You know, mm -hmm. this this film is is a, is a really really good first step. Yeah. Um, I never thought that when this film came out, suddenly everyone would go, oh, he's not Harry Potter anymore. Mm -hmm. But you know, I think it's it's a really strong first step. What explains the fact that you still have your feet on the ground, even though you took part in the most successful film series of all time? Dude, I I, <laughs> I don't know. Um, you know, because uh, yeah, James got... Watkins, who uh, directed Woman in Black, says you're. A charm to work with. You're simple. You like to work. Yeah, I, no, I love working. That's mm -hmm. ultimately that's what it is. You know, I, I, there's nowhere I'd rather be than a film set. And um, in terms of having feet on the ground, I suppose you know I've got I've got great parents, and they they were always very real with me, and and, and never let me get um, too big for my boots, as we say mm -hmm. in England. Um, and other than that, I don't know. I think if you keep your priorities kind of right and you focus on the work, then you'll be okay. You know what? I'm not worried for your your future in movies. Oh well, I, I, I thank you. Thank you very much, man. Cheers. Yeah.